Hi everyone, I'm Bruno. Today I want to share with you the new sensor fusion algorithm we are implementing in Core Data, which also includes a magnetic compensation step. Before showing you the actual results we're getting, I would like to take a minute to explain why a sensor fusion algorithm is important. What happens in inertial motion capture is that there is not one, but three sensors that collaborate to get the data to obtain the capture. These sensors are a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. What is done is to pass the data coming from the sensor through this sensor fusion algorithm to basically obtain a three-dimensional orientation that is then used to feed the biomechanical model, which gives you the, the final capture. The accuracy and precision of this sensor fusion algorithm is what in great manner determines the final quality of the capture. So for example, uh, I have here uh, a single sensor performing both the old algorithm and the new algorithm and feeding uh, two different virtual cassettes in Blender. So as you can see, the, the, the old algorithm was based on, on Madwit1, which was released as, as an open source algorithm in 2011. And it's great and simple and it is widely used in many open source projects. But what we are now implementing is a, an algorithm based on, on a Kama filter, which is the industry standard for this type of fusion. And it gives you a, a greater precision and also implements a great feature where, that is a magnetic compensation. So for example, if I take this, this is a regular uh, fridge from a mag magnet from the fridge and see what happens when I put it close to the sensor. As you can see, the Madwig one starts drifting. Let me use a different orientation so I can show you there. Here. So you can see the Madwig one starts, starts drifting and it loses completely the, the real orientation uh, it was given. While the Kalman one stays stable during the, the, the influence of the magnet and it just didn't move. That is because the, the Kalman feature is aware of the magnetic error he's receiving in, in a particular point in time and is able to compensate it and, and to give a more, much more accurate results during these kind of uh, disturbances. And another example of what you can get with both algorithm is this one. What I did was to put all the sensors in a wooden mannequin and record a steady pose coming from the old Madwick algorithm and the new Kalman one. And as you can see, if I hit play, we see a real-time comparison of both outputs. And well, the, the old Madwick one is giving us a shaky and stable results, with which we used to filter to, to make it more steady on, on, the, on our Blender add-on, but now with the new Kalman algorithm, what we get is a much more steady, stable pose. It's hardly moving, which is what's really happening with the sensors. You get to you have to look pretty close to to some of the parts in order to see it moving at all. So yeah, this is these are pretty exciting news. This is why it's coming to the Cordeta system. And as a final quick reminder, I would like you to remember that you can already pre-order your motion capture kit. Be sure to check out the pre-order page that you will find in the description. So that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.